Hi, this video is meant as an example of how to do the performance task for probability. So to do the task, you'll, you'll get a paper from your teacher and on the left hand side is has all the things you have to do to complete the task. And there are questions in bold that should be answered for each section. In order to be able to move on to the experiment, you're going to have to get the okay from your teacher. You're gonna get a stamp, making sure that you have completed this step one. So I'm gonna to describe to you how to do step one now. So for step one, you are gonna design a game, or really you're designing an experiment. So you're gonna design a compound events, choose two different items, coins, spinners, die, blocks from what is available. Now, you could also use online versions of things. So let's say, for example, I decide to choose a coin. So I'm gonna flip a coin. And I'm gonna use a six-sided die. So these are the examples we used in class. So you will not be able to use this as your personal project because we're using these as a class. You have to pick something different, but I want you to notice that in my action, flip a coin, roll a six-sided die so that I did say what we're doing with them. So now I have to decide what am I looking for to call a win? And um, so I'm looking for a particular outcome. So let's say that for the coin, so flip heads, even. I could have chosen heads or tails, and for the coin I could have picked, I'm sorry, for the die I could have picked anything, even, odd, one, two, three, four, five, six, any of the outcomes possible, but we're just going to choose those. So this is how you would technically win the game. Now I'm going to figure out, before I move on, I'm going to figure out how many outcomes does my activity have? So if I'm flipping a coin, that's two outcomes for the coin. On the six sided die, there are six possible outcomes. To get the total outcomes using the fundamental accounting principle, I multiply those two things together to get 12 total. In order for you to be able to move on and do your experiment, your teacher is gonna to check to make sure that you have two actions described and that you're describing them enough for someone to be able to read them and understand what you're doing, that you have your how to win and it makes sense to someone who is reading it, and that you have your work shown here and the total number of outcomes is at least 12. This is, at, you have to have at least 12. Can be more than 12, but not less than 12. So this is all that you have to accomplish for now. Eventually though, you are going to then uh, conduct an experiment where you keep tally marks, you're actually going to do this thing. You're gonna flip a coin, roll a die, or in your case, whatever you chose. And then you're gonna keep tally marks of how many times you won and how many times you did not win. So that you can find your experimental probability of winning and your experimental probability of not winning. Then you will answer the question here. After you've done your experiment, then you will create a sample space. You're gonna have the option of a tree diagram, organized list, or a chart. We did tree diagram earlier, organized list and chart we're gonna talk about on Wednesday's class. So you're gonna do one of those things. Then you will find the theoretical probability of winning and your theoretical probability of not winning. And after you've done that, back and you are going to decide well after I did the experiment I won so many times and then I found my theoretical probability did I win more often in my experiment than I would have expected to win based on my theoretical probability so when we did this in class so we did this in class okay we did this 
26 times. And of those 26 times, we had nine times we land on heads and even. And then 17 times we did not land on heads and even. So we landed on something else. So we won 35% of the time and lost 65% of the time. Then when we came back here as a class and we created the tree diagram and we found the sample space, we found that there are three ways to win in our sample space. So that means the probability of winning is really 25%. So since the theoretical probability is 25%, we found as a class that, did we win more often? Yes, we won more often because we won 35% of the time and we should have won 25% of the time. Now, this isn't the best way to answer this question, but it does answer the question. So this isn't like an exceeding proficiency answer. It's just a basic answer. And then we go and look here. Well, in general, would you say that winning, if your probability of winning is 25%, does that mean it's impossible, unlikely, equally likely, probable, likely, or certain? Well, since it's 25% and it's less than 50, it's really unlikely to win. Not impossible, but not likely. So that's, your, that's what you're going to be doing for your performance task. What you have to do first, though, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to complete this section where you come up with two actions and you describe how to win and you make sure to come up with at least 12 outcomes. Show that to your teacher and then you'll get a stamp and you'll be able to move on. Thanks.